Good morning, I'm Trish Pahanik, and this is Synopsis, your first early morning briefing. Today is Tuesday, August 4th, 2009. Here are today's top stories. Classic game show, Let's Make a Deal, is making a comeback during weekdays on CBS beginning October 5th. Now check your local listings for exact airtimes. In the updated version, the hour-long daytime game show will be hosted by Wayne Brady and produced by Fremantle Media North America. E! introduces a new half-hour reality series called Reality Hell that pokes fun at current TV reality show formats. The show uses actors who try to fool unsuspecting people into thinking they are appearing on a real reality show. The eight-episode series opens on August 16th following an extended-length episode of Courtney and Chloe Take Miami, which begins at 10 p.m. Reality Hell will normally air on Sundays at 10.30. USA Network gave a third season renewal for In Plain Sight. The drama starring Mary McCormack as a U.S. Marshal for the Witness Protection Program received an order for 16 new episodes. Music Network Fuse is teaming with music brand Billboard on a daily music news segment titled The Daily Noise, created for on-air and online. Billboard's editorial director, Bill Word, will host the segment, which started yesterday on Fuse, as well as via Billboard.com and Fuse.tv, providing a quick take on music headlines, new releases, and Billboard chart updates in addition to live event schedules. Last Friday at 9 p.m., History opened a new series, Lock and Load, with R. Lee Ermey, drawing in 589,000 adults 25 to 54, 660,000 adults 18 to 49, and 1.5 million total viewers. DIY Network launches this country's first interactive home renovation series as Run My Renovation opens for voters online starting August 20th. Homeowner participants will rely on the American public to vote via DIYNetwork.com on which design components they should use for their home renovations, from flooring to fixtures, cabinets to cook stoves and more. The 13-episode series will open on the network in mid-2010. We TV announced new original series projects in development, Girls Meet Gown. Original series is set inside Texas Bridal Salon, Stardust Celebrations as Women Search for the Perfect Wedding Gown. Jilted, that's a working title, original series where women give their boyfriends the ultimate ultimatum involving marriage. And We TV announced three returning series, High School Confidential, The Locator, and Little Miss Perfect. True TV approves seven episodes of the new series Conspiracy Theory with Jesse Ventura from A. Smith & Company Productions, the same company that produces Hell's Kitchen, Crash Course, among others. The series will debut on True TV later this year, with Ventura attempting to uncover intriguing conspiracy theories. And last up today, Fox is moving forward with a new live-action multi-camera comedy from co-creator executive producer Mark Brazil and executive producer Tom Werner, the duo behind Fox's hit That 70s Show. Fox has handed a cast contingent pilot order for the Rednecks and Romeos about a group of teen friends living in a suburb near Buffalo, New York. <music> And on that note, that's a wrap. Be sure to check your email for the full printed version of today's synopsis with new executive moves and more on ratings, some new classified ads, a few other stories that did not make it into this podcast, and of course tonight's primetime broadcast lineup. This is a Synopsis Media production in association with 311 West. For Cynthia Turner, who wrote and compiled Synopsis in Connecticut, I'm Trish Pahanek. I'm going to have a good day. If I make it myself, I'm gonna have a good day. I don't need no one else. I'm gonna have a good day. Nothing wrong I could do. I'm gonna have a good day. Hope you have a good day too.